Maybe the fact that I'm on the court grinding every day, trying to do better than the day before, you know, fighting for every point, never giving up, and always trying to do my best and have fun is, is what makes me elite, I think. Welcome back everyone to day two of the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. Alex Gruskin joined by my main man. I try to come up with a different, you know, there's a Prince of Bel Air. There's, we'll call it the Prince of all things Pennsylvania tennis. My man, Don Hutch, Hutchinson Hutch. We've seen both of our players here in match number three of 10 on the day. Earned victories already, of course. It was over the same player as in our opening match. We saw KP Panu take a comfortable, I want to say 4-2, 4-1 victory. May have been flipping those set scores for 1-4-2 over Chad Kissel. Going to be a completely different test for him here. Perhaps the test of his tennis career as he takes on former top 10 and Grand Slam semi-finalist Ernest Goldis. It's going to be KP serving first on the far side of your screen. Get to say the four best words in the English language. Let's play some tennis. Yeah, KP's wheels already getting up to the net. And we got to see KP earlier, the former D2 national champion out of Columbus State. Just such a smooth game, Hutch. He does wonderful wheels, every shot in the book. And uh, can he make enough of an impression on Gilvis' power to win this match is the way I look at it. Yeah, that's, Not there. <laughs> that's exactly that's what, exactly what Gilbus brings to the table here. And we saw that in his last match, Ernest 4 0 4 1 victory over Chad Kessel. Just overwhelmed Chad from yeah. the start, the pace. I don't, I don't think Chad, who, you know, again, rising player, currently outside the top 1,000, but starting to play some good tennis. He'd just never seen anything like it before. Right. That's a really good serving from KP. And of course, that's going to have to be what he's able to do today. You're, when you play a former top 10 guy, when you're at a bit of a power deficit, you got to make first serves. you got to find opportunities to be aggressive. Now, we saw, I want to say, three different tweeners from KP yeah. in his first match against Chad. Yeah, sweet catch by Colvis. He knew exactly where he was going with that. But took off before the shot was hit. No, but that's a challenger point right there. I mean, that's really, really good stuff from yep. KP. That's just better yep. from Ernest Golbus. And we talked about it in our last broadcast. Golbus just locked in here. 
Yeah, he, he read that before the ball was even hit. Absolutely, and again, he heads straight from here to U.S. Open qualifying. So clear he's going to try and find his rhythm. Treat this event as only an exhibition in name. Gutsy serving, <laughs> and that's what it's going to take. Dare yeah. I say, huevos today. Yeah. From KP, just you got to play for broke. You got to play on your terms, win or lose. Just go down swinging. Yeah, he's got to take a couple chances because mm -hmm. his normal game is not going to be goals. Early game point here, forty thirty. Panu does what Kissel was unable to, starts the match off with a hold, gets on the board here now. In case this is your first match joining us, A, welcome to the broadcast again. Alex Gruskin of Crack Rackets, thrilled to be joined by my main man, Hutch B. Here's the format for our event here, singles on day two. It's going to be two rounds of group play. We've got group one featuring Ernest Golbus, uh, Chad Kissel. Obviously, KP Panu here in front of you and yet to be seen today, but undefeated in his rounds yesterday. Makun Sasakumar, top two players in the group, will advance to Wednesday's semifinals, where they will match up with the top two either from Ram Kumar, Ramanathan, Roy Smith, Chris Eubanks, and Nick Bible. It's a fast four format here. Sets played to four, tiebreaker at three all. <laughs> I love this start from KP. Yeah, he's keeping Goldus on the move. And I made one bold claim in the start of the first match. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'll own it now while the scoreboard looks good. I said my upset of the day was going to be KP Panu over Ernest Golpus. I just think the better the player, the better the KP. Super, super impressed by this guy. Well, he's going to make that shot. And then he does that to me. That's yeah, what I'm no. saying. Come on. Yikes. The most beautiful of beautiful forehand approaches and again play on your terms if you're KP he's discarded the bucket hat I suppose it's a little too serious of an occasion for that there's also not a drop of sun <laughs> a little bit of commentary from KP and I think that's actually very insightful that backhand pass he said came back harder at him than he hit the approach yeah Gulba amping it up a little bit yeah, I think he is recognized. Oh, man, this guy can play. Yeah, he can play. And I'm expecting good tennis in this one, Hutch. Not that I was ever expecting bad tennis. <laughs> I'm expecting bad tennis in this one. That's what I should tell our viewers. Yeah, too good. I'd start just calling every third one out. Just be like, you know what? <laughs> You'll get 66% of your first serves, no more. New game plan. Exactly. Every third ball's out of here. good yeah it's a beauty right off the line yeah again that's Ernest Golbus locked in I would take that as a sign honestly of respect of flattery that he's got to amp up the surf yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate yeah it's the New Zealand coming out from KP I don't know if you guys could hear that over the mic he says that guy's got a cannon mate again I'm, I'm gonna start advising him I don't want to get a coaching warning but just call it out what are they going to do? Overrule you? <laughs> Darn. We do see, by the way, inaugural Lotto Elite Doubles Champion Makun Sasakumar now on site. We'll play our next match. Big return. This match not an elimination match for either player as both guys 1-0. Neither of them have played Makun Sasakumar, also 1-0. Unfortunately for Chad Kissel, he's eliminated. 
did earn the set against Makund yesterday, and I thought he started to play better tennis towards the end of the match against KP. He did, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, agreed. And then he was just overwhelmed by Ernest Coldis. That's what I'm saying. But it's a tough group, man. Yeah, it's tough it's, sledding. It's, yeah, it's, it's a really it's, tough field. Yeah. Just missed. You can see, not that he's never non aggressive, but KP recognizing very early. Got to go for a little bit more. I was going to say, this will not be a grind. No, he's got to go for a little bit more to be competitive in this match. So I don't think you'll see many tweeners in this one. See, I think I'm going to swerve here. Uh -huh. I think we'll see a bunch if the, if the scoreboard goes awry. <laughs> if it goes awry. <laughs> well, you gave me the if. Yeah, if, if, big if. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I'm still on the upset bandwagon, so <laughs> we know what my predictions are worth. <laughs> yeah, Goldus has really stepped up his serves and returns. A lot different than the doubles match. Three break points here does Ernest Goldus take an early 2 1 break lead. Shot. It's long and that's game. This unclear with the call. They, they Deferred to the chair umpire. The chair umpire calling that ball out. Yes. First of all, way to censor yourself around the ball. <laughs> Kids, KP, referring to that. Not a uh, four a letter. Yeah, I was going to say, he left out the four letter word <laughs> that genuinely, generally follows the word horse. Yeah, you could say crap. And he's just <laughs> having a little chat saying, hey, you know, if Ernest doesn't make the call, as the chair umpire, aren't you supposed to just say it's my, you know, it's his point. I did see the ball out, but it's his point because you didn't make the call. Rain starts coming down. That's what that is? Yeah. Yep. Definitely a little sprinkle now overhand. We asked. Now again, the tennis guys just minimize the rain for as long as possible. It does seem to be a little in and out. That's not too bad. Definitely still can play through these conditions. Hey, Gold is checking the lines. Lines are what's going to get slick first. They do not want to injure themselves. Yeah, yeah looks they're... like we're about to have a little suspension here of play. So play suspended for the meantime. Obviously, we prefer to err on the side of caution. This is where the Vafter.com dry course faster may be in use. Although, again, it's a light sprinkle more than anything else. I think we've got a small cell rolling through Hutch on the ones and twos. Weather.com, unofficial sponsor of all tennis tournaments. Yeah, it looks okay. I mean, then it's not going to be okay. Let's be clear. Once we get to that three o'clock, four o'clock yeah. hour, things get. A little bit testier, but for now, 
looks like we should be able to get through this. Looks like this will only be a little five, ten minute blip in the radar. Again, both players staying on court right now. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be okay. Yeah, but so in the meantime, Super Producer Daniel Westoff, we are going to take a quick three-minute break, give Hutch and I some time to just chat with our tournament director, see where this can go on court, feel the conditions for ourselves. But we will be back as soon as our players are back. But for now, for my main man, Hutch, for our Super Producer Daniel Westoff, I'm Alex Gruskin. You are watching the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. <laughs>
to day two of our 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge was just a brief sprinkle. I think they smelled our commentator booth and they were like, I, you guys need some rain. It is saucy in there. <laughs> but of course, nevertheless, we are back right into our action as we pick things up. Ernest Golbus just earned a break over KP Panu, currently leads 2 1. Set number one in our singles group play match. The big serve from Golbus here. He has been locked in today on surfing away. He just wasn't yesterday, Hutch. Yeah, Golbus' serve is on fire today. Yeah. He just didn't worry about it yesterday. No, but no, today he's found it. No doubt at all. And again, given he's got U.S. Open qualifying on the horizon, given his open talk about, look, if I can't be a top 100 player again, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this. His focus, his intensity here, it's been noticeable. Yeah. Yeah, right out of the gate with his serve, with his returns. <laughs> and an incredible backhand. No. Watch that backhand. I'm looking, I'm looking at the total points one right now. It's 13, I want to, uh, 4, 8, I'm cheating, 11, 13, 13 to 5 right now. The advantage to Golbus. 14. Well, I say this lovingly, Hutch. Don't most people do the, f I know it's three points in tennis, but isn't it usually one, two, three, four, and then the dash across? Yeah, I, I do different things. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. That's nice. I want to see one of those. <laughs> yeah. So Golbus holds at love now. Again, lopsided. He's won three quarters of the points. <laughs> yeah, Paul could drop the ball. Yeah. A smile from KP. There's a joy to KP on court. Yeah. Even in these XOs, just winning, losing, it doesn't matter. He is here to have fun. That was a little lackadaisical. Yep. His feet didn't work on that one. No. <laughs> they did not. And of course, you look for KP, 24 years old, only outside the top 1,000 of the rankings, but got the opportunity to compete. Futures level challenger circuit of late. Feeling the pressure. No doubt about that. And, I mean, he talked to us. He said, this guy's got a cannon. <laughs> Referring to the goal with serve, hard to disagree. You can see KP has recognized the need to be a little, play a little bit bigger. That's a couple of double faults for him. Let called there, I agree. Yeah, the ability of these guys to change directions. Mm -hmm. Goldbush was headed to the left, stopped immediately, stopped on a dime, got back. Big man to do that. Oh, super, super special stuff. I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. These guys are, well, that's the reason they're pro athletes. Yeah. And we're in the booth. I was going to say that, and they didn't want a real <laughs> job either. So yeah. like, oh, let me try my hands at pro athletes. <laughs> That's why you build the 15-40 lead. Yeah, it's a little wild on that one. Big cut from Golbis, but again, why is he here to get these practice reps? And you build a love 40 lead, you do not want to see that lead evaporate. So watch for Golbis to lock in here. And put this return just on the body of KP. Look for him to hit a backhand here on this return as well. 
Yeah, a little pressure there. And you could, I could see in the last couple service games, KP, mm -hmm. that Gulba's just putting too much pressure on him. No doubt. That's a little bit of a brain fart as well. A couple of double faults from KP Panu. He hands over set number one to Ernest Gulba's 4-1 decision for the former top 10 player out of Latvia. Of course, if we can, Super Producer Daniel Westoff, you've created so many fantastic graphics. Let's show off that Ernest Gulba's graphic right now. He's currently ranked 192 in the ATP rankings, 373 in the race to the year-end finals. You look at the more advanced metrics. I've brought it up before. ELO ratings via our friends Tennis Abstract measures who you play, not when and where like the ranking system. They have him outside the top 200 as well. 207 overall. He's 203 on hard courts. 241 in terms of his 2021 specific results. Now, again, the goal is we've seen here seems locked in, but I'm curious moving forward. How much do you think is left in the tank for Ernest Goldus? Well, I mean, it looks to me like he's focusing pretty nicely right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm not so sure whether the focus drifts, and he comes back, but playing his best, obviously he can compete with anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, how motivated is he? How, how much between the years can he keep things together? Mm -hmm. And I think we'll find out a lot when we see him playing the uh, next couple matches no doubt about that had a 10 match losing streak at one point from when the pandemic resume play resume post pandemic to the start of the 2021 season he's now 14 and 26 in his last 52 weeks of competition 11 and 17 here in 2021 but you know went to kitzbühel qualified there at the end of july went to wimbledon made final round of qualifying there or losing a straight set match to Brandon Nakashima. I think we've seen bits and pieces of the level, but again, for him, ranking-wise, number 192, you drop outside of that top 200, you have to play qualifying at Challengers now. It just doesn't feel like a lifestyle Ernest Gulbis is going to be about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And he said as much. And um, he played a lot in July. Yeah. So he was all over Europe before he came here. So he, he's pretty well focused to, to play every single week to make a trip over here to, to go to qualify. I mean, the, the dude's focused right now to, to see what he can do for the next year, year and a half. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, eh, you got to move on to something and this else. This is that push for sure in yeah. his career. They say the vital signs as someone, this is so morbid. Jeez, I stopped myself mid-analogy. <laughs> but you know how the vital signs pick up right before the end? They're like, okay, he looks super healthy, and then it's not. Mm -hmm. That might be Goldus's career right here. It's like, all right, let me travel around. Let me see what I've got left in the tank. If it's nothing, then at least I find out and I can feel some peace knowing that I've retired on my own terms. Yeah, he's, he's going to give it his last push. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's well off anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, so the motivation has to come from within. I mean, pretty much his heart yeah, for, for playing tennis and competing. Absolutely, and I'm looking to our left touch. Is it still sprinkling out a bit? Looks like it's still. Yeah, we can hear it on the roof. Yeah, and here we go. Oh, yeah. here comes the hard stuff. All right, I'm going to grab the camera. Super producer Daniel Westoff, don't worry. I'm on the ones and twos. We will be back as soon as this rain subsides. This may be our push indoors, folks. But for now, signing off, Hutch Gruskin, you are watching the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge.
Welcome back, everyone, to the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. You can hear the tunes of Super Producer Max Fliegner in the background as we wait for our play to resume. We are ready to go. We pick things up. Ernest Golbis, 4-1, 40-15 lead here. Not a bad way to start yeah, out. We can lock in that game. Okay, 4-1, <laughs> one, one love overall now for Golbis. Alex Gruskin of Crack Rackets, joined by my main man. He's probably the most infamous man in all of American tennis. They call him Don Pete Sampras Hutch Hutchinson. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> exactly. Yikes. It's because your game's very one-dimensional like Pete's. Um, but <laughs> no, uh, of course, you look here now. We have Ernest Golbus, winner of his first match, 4-love, four 4-1 four over Chad Kissel, picking on former, I believe it's Columbus State Division II National Champion, K.P. Panu. I thought K.P. was excellent in his first match, a straight set. I believe it was 4-1, 4-2 victory over Chad Kissel. Came out firing here, got the open, opening hold touch, and has been on his front foot, understands he needs to dictate in this match, but just hasn't been able to play 
enough with enough aggression consistently just put that first approach out in the in the court to, to hurt Golbus so far. Yeah, Golbus brings some more pace and power. Not only on a serve, but just on the ground he's too. No doubt about that. And the story of the day thus far, a locked in Ernest Golbus. We weren't sure we were going to get that, given we'll call it a lackadaisical Monday of doubles from him. I talked to him a little bit about that. Yeah. The rain break. And uh, he said, uh, I, I just didn't, didn't feel it in doubles. It's a different setup for serving. He said, give me two or three more matches. I would have figured it out. Yeah. He said, but I just didn't feel the you know, feel it when I was serving in dubs. Definitely. No. But he feels it today. Yeah, you could see that. Mm -hmm. and yeah. You know, the backhand in particular stood out. It's been the biggest weapon on the court. Yep. And just the weight of his strokes. And by the way, another shout out to the team at BAFTR, VAPTR.com. They are revolutionizing court technology as it comes to drying courts faster. It took us, what, that rain delay, like 12 minutes? That was it. And uh, no buzzing wind machines, yeah, exactly. hair dryers, fans, yeah. towels everywhere. No noise pollution. Yeah. Exactly, noise pollution. I like that. 100% carbon free as well. <laughs> That's an official stat. <laughs> Shout out to our friends at Vapter. We'll have the Vapter team on our broadcast in our next match to talk about their product. And again, for both of these players, KP, Sanu, and Pryor, whether it was in our earlier match with Chad Kessel. It's just really hard to find this Golbus forehand right now and attack it with pace when he's hitting the return as cleanly as he is. Yeah, I think in career, obviously, Golbus has seen better serves than every one of these things. And if he's on his return, it's bad for these guys. And I think that's the pressure that uh, KP feels when he's serving here. Mm -hmm. You know, if he doesn't get a really good serve in his spot, his speed, Gold is just going to eat alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good second serve there. there. No, that's a really good service game from KP Panu to just sort of steady things and of course KP outside the top 1000 right now but guy at 24 years old really just starting his professional tennis career and again was all conference I believe it was the Peach Conference Peach something Peach City Conference that's what it was <laughs> or something like that oh we hear a little rain hopefully just a little please Shake of the head from Golbus. This is gonna be would be a third rain delay for him here in this match. Beauty. Whew. That's pretty. It's gonna stop pretty soon. Yeah. He, uh, he's not gonna want to play in this unless it stops. Checking the lines. And this is just one of those, for lack of a better term, FU reigns, where it's just like, no, we don't want you to have any fun. <laughs> Boy, let's stay low. Yeah, it's a really nice slice, really good hands there from KP. If the push is going to happen, it's got to be right now. Yeah. Watch your feet. Gulp is doing a little coaching of the ball kids as well. Helping out here. No, oh, appreciate that always. Rain seems to have subsided for the moment. It's a big word for me. Subside or moment? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was going to go with seams. <laughs> <laughs> big serve from Gulp as we've seen him be able to find that serve whenever he's needed it today. 
Yeah, it's on today. Yeah, certainly, again, from a resume standpoint, even the eye test standpoint, Coldus comes in as a prohibitive favorite in this group play stage, but... That's tricky stuff. Yep. He's thrown a couple of off speed here in this game. Yeah, those slices give him a little trouble. They're staying really low. point we've seen from KP Sanu in this uh, yeah. in this match Canoe excuse me I want to say Sanu KP Sanu in this match connects with that return beautifully follows it forward to the net and again from a tools perspective from a skills perspective we still need to see him put it together on a point by point basis but man can KP Sanu do a bunch of different things Hutch yeah he, he's shown us all, all kinds of variety he's not bringing out the tweeners and that stuff here because he knows if he loses one point that he shouldn't lose, he doesn't have a chance in this match. Exactly. But uh, that was awfully nice. Deep approach, wonderful up to net volley. And then that. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> a little comment, commentation from about Golden. Yeah, call that one out. <laughs> We like that. No. He's helping us out. He's a friendly, friendly guy. I've been a big fan of his. They're not watching, but my older brother and his roommates, big Golbus fans in college. And every so often, the ace double fault combo, you see it, but yeah. it would always be any any time he was playing, he was on the TV. And there would always be every so often randomly mixed in because I got to hang out with them while they were in college. He was two years older than me. You'd hear a fear hand throw oh, it yeah. in there any off in that fear hand, the forehand fear of Ernest hand, Goldbiss. Yeah. One of the, the trademark Gil shots Brad on Gilbert. Tour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. You're not embracing BG. You're just not doing this right. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. It's just so solid with that. See, that's the serve I'm calling out. <laughs> Just to really mess with him. Be like, no, it serves a little wide. Sorry. Another easy heat for him cross court. And you can sort of hear it in the background. It stops raining. It sprinkles for two seconds. Then it completely stops. Then you yeah. get 10 seconds. And so I just think these are the conditions we're dealing with players. Ugh. There it comes again. Hopefully it stops again. Yeah. And it does. It did. Wow. And I actually really enjoy this strategy from KP to throw the off-speed stuff because, as we've seen today, when you get that ball in the strike zone for Ernest Goldis, he's, he's turning into it. I mean, you're like, oh, yeah, you were a top-10 pro, for sure. You yeah. see it very, very cleanly now. Keep KP's, the ball low and slow. Exactly. KP's thrown some junk at him. Yeah, and he has to. Yeah. Yeah, just make him uncomfortable. Yep. You've yep. already you said, hey, I need some rain from you guys to really frustrate <laughs> him. Now you throw some slices in the mix as well. I want to hit that forehand, the one that doesn't count. <laughs> oh, yeah. KP would like that one back. Absolutely. So first tricky service game for Golbus. He escapes with another hold. He'll lead now 4-1-2-1 here on serve in set number two. Alex Gruskin joined 
Five Main Man Hutch here courtside for this 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. And, you know, something I have yet to brought up, uh, bring up here on day number two, because, you know, for all of these players, we talk about the intimacy of this event, the opportunity to get to compete in front of a crowd, to get to compete in such a beautiful home here at M Key Tennis Stadium. But and they've also had all of the amenities, all of the things a tennis player is accustomed to taking care of, in particular the string this week. Have to give a shout out to our friends over at Racket Bar. If you don't know about Racket Bar, you're missing out, folks. They really are some of the best in the business. I'd argue the best in business when it comes to all things stringing. You look for this Racket Bar team, what they've been able to do here over the past year. Strung over 12,000 rackets. That is a lot of tennis racket. It's a lot of string, about 97 miles worth. You could go directly from here on a string zip line, 97 miles long to New York. And so while we're not sure if we're going to be able to try that here today, if we do, we'll get it on video. But a shout out to our friends at Racket Bar for all they do. You can hear that rain picking up again. Yep. Golbus kind of saying, look, go away. let's do it. I mean, it, it's straight up coming down now. Yeah. 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 Goal's going to go back and sit down. I mean, you can't play in this. No, no. doubt about that. Another yeah. rain delay coming here at this 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. You see a smile on Golda's face. The starting and the stopping continuing once again. Ball kids off of court now. Players staying on, but... Again... Vafter's getting ready? No, three times in one match. Certainly frustrating. I think we're going to get a call to go indoors soon. I just, you just feel like, again, this is not what you want to put the players through. And no. super, super producer, excuse me, I should say tournament director Ryan, well aware of that fact. Of course, now the rain stopped. <laughs> so that took a solid 15 seconds. What are we doing here, Mother Nature? Can we decide, pour or don't? Force us indoors or don't? But imagine if we're feeling this in the commentary booth, fans at home feeling this. Imagine what these players are going through right now, trying to figure out. And I apologize. You see my body as well as Hutch staring at his phone, looking at this weather report. What do we see right now? Some clouds. I see some green. That's never a good thing. But then clear. Yeah. I mean, these, these things are just popping up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get hit around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. But I think we're all prepared for that fact. It's just how much can we sneak in beforehand? And do we bring out the Vafters once more here? Are these courts <laughs> slick enough for Vafter? Do we let them just dry out naturally? That was not a splash on the court. That was some of the ball kids having fun behind us. Again, we're staying live here. I apologize for standing. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where we're at, what the plan is moving forward. We have an unavoidable sell coming in at 3 p.m. And at that point, I promise you, we will be moving indoors to complete the rest of the day's play if we haven't already. But again, players staying on court right now. It's a soft drizzle still coming down. I don't even know if it's quite a drizzle as much as it is just... Yeah, just an annoyance. Yeah, that's the word. That's exactly you nailed it on the head, the head there. It's just an annoyance. And again, this is frustrating for all of us. We see, I mean, the fact that we can see, is it grains of drops? That's it. It drops of rain, not grains of rain. Hey, great shot, Alex. Um, but you see <laughs> the different droplets of rain still visibly with your eyes. That tends to be indicative of play, just raining a bit too heavy to continue play. Yeah, players are a little frustrated out oh, here. They, they like to get on with it. Ernest Golbus right now, if you can see him, looks like that man needs a beer. <laughs> Should I go out and ask Yeah, him? the thing is he'd say yes. <laughs> yeah, might, and that's the might. problem. He'd pop one, and then he'd come out and still beat KP. <laughs> yeah. That's not, by the way, a slight to KP. That's just Ernest <laughs> Golbus, the talent. Yeah, and everybody else, I think. Oof. So, again, we're trying to sniff around here, figure out exactly what's happening. We're a holding pattern. Not much we can do here in the meantime as we wait. 
suppose we can talk about the action we've got coming up later today. We've got Sasa Kumar taking on Panu. After that, Golbis, Sasa Kumar. If both players aren't 2-0, we will play that final rubber. Of course, if both players are 2-0, it sounds like that rubber may get scrapped. Both players will just advance to the semifinals. We'll try and sneak in as many of those other needed matches from Group 2 as we can today. You hear the rain a little bit more now. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Again, it's just not stopping. And so, fine, we take 30 minutes off. Okay, now it gets a little heavier here. Yep. No, that's going to be it for a while. That's another 15-minute break. Yep, at least. So with that in mind, Super Producer Daniel Westoff, text me if you are on the ones and twos. I know we're trying to protect some equipment here, but in the meantime, we are going to take a quick break in our coverage. Figure out if this rain's going anywhere. Figure out what we can do moving forward. But for now, four. A main man hutch for super producer Daniel Westoff and all of us here at the event. You are watching the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge.
Welcome back, everyone. Rain delay number three officially in the books here at the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. Now, that felt like the big storm before the biggest storm we're going to see on the day. So we are expecting to be unimpeded by rain over the next two hours. Of course, just saying that out loud feels like we're going to get in trouble there, Hutch. But <laughs> Players back on court now, our third singles match of the day. Two undefeated players right now in the middle of their second set. It's Ernest Golbus, the former top 10 talent, former French Open semifinalist, getting ready for U.S. Open qualifying here this week by playing this event. He's up a set, but on serve 2-1 in the second. And actually just faced a little bit of trouble in his service game, courtesy of of the return game of KP Panu, and we both had the chance to chat with KP. I know he had the chance to chat with his coach during one of these rain delays, Hutch. It does feel like he started to find his rhythm, starting to find his bearings here in this match. Yeah, and I think he's going to go with some underspin and keep the ball soft and, and try to stay away from Goldus' power. And of course, everybody just hit lines one. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, he read that one right. Yeah, and by the way, it seems like they've started rocking and rolling. So it was an abbreviated warm-up. Again, these guys have been on court already for over an hour each. They're ready to rock and roll, as are we here in the booth now. 15 love for KP Panu, and he mentioned it, and I know it sounds obvious, but his thing, first serves. Got to put more first serves in play. Yeah, because now Goldus is going to attack this one. Absolutely. He also said just in general, got to put more balls in play. It was a little sloppy pressing there. At the start of that first set. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That'll play, KP. Yep. That'll play. Average. <laughs> uh, funny guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Plays Sign with a smile. Yeah, he's signing autographs. Oh, oh, oh. Love that. Uh, <laughs> he paid the price. That's why you build a 30-love lead, right? To yeah. Throw that sort of moment in, and certainly after that backhand, <laughs> forehand combo. Now 30-15 here. It's a good warm-up in case he gets Golbus the curious question. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, that... That serve's going to be eaten alive, and he, he escaped that, luckily. Oh, absolutely. Now has two game points here. Again, fast four format means we're playing sets to four. Two, one, you get broken here. The match is essentially over with how well Golbus has served today. That's right. Yeah, Golbus really picked up his serve. Now, he said he was uncomfortable in double court, so I'll, I'll take, take yeah. him for his word. No, no denying that. Because he, he's found his rhythm here. Yeah, Absolutely. A better serve. Big hold for KP though, and he even mentioned it in his. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That'll be on the graphic. Two games against Ernest Golbus. I like another game to the name. Yeah, he, had... he came with a little, a little rhyme. He had reached two all, and had the opportunity to break for three one. The stuff you tell your grandkids about. But of course, for KP, again, it was really interesting to hear him say, just after living on the court with it for 30 minutes, like, hey, I can attack that forehand of Golbus. It is a shot that if I can get pace into it, I feel like I can have some success. And again, easier said than done. But building the belief is half the battle in tennis. Yeah, you're right. If you're positive about that shot, yeah, that's most of the battle right there. Exactly. If you think you can find success... You're going to. Yeah, go find it. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. Wow. A rare miss on the backhand. And for as hot as Goldus was starting out, I think the rain delays probably affect him more than anybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big second serve. That's just money. Huge. <laughs> he scratches his head.
Big action on that second serve, too. Uh, Golbus is just crushing some second serves here. He has that gear to him, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, those second serves are, are bigger than anybody else's we've seen here today. Or, or yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a rally ball that KP should make. But a little tougher these guys to be so really consistent with all the rain delays. Yeah, certainly. And again, the effort level, just the energy. That's all we can ask from these players, especially. <laughs> Good jam in second serve. <laughs> KP says, good serve. Tough there. Not much you can do. But we're still on serve here. Set number two. Match number three of our 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. Alex Gruskin joined by, I don't know, the inventor of tennis. I'm just trying to think, <laughs> what can I do to continue to what no, up no, myself no, with I'm, the titles? I'm not older than dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old, but not older than dirt. <laughs> the inventor of modern tennis. The man who came up with the gut racket string himself, personally strung a cow or a pig, or what, what, is the, what was the gut originally come out of? I don't remember. Cow's intestines? That's what it was, right? Yeah, yeah. The first to realize cow intestines could be used for a racket. My main man, Hutch. I'm digging for those intestines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And of course, we are here at the beautiful MK household, MK Tennis Stadium. Huge thank you to the MK law firm, the MK family, of course, for their some continued support of this event. Year number two. Oh, you can hear a little pitter patter. Yeah, a little bit, and the balls are going to be get a little heavier with this. No doubt. So probably a little tougher serving here for KP. Yeah, those balls are going to sit a little bit, and, and Goebbels are going to be able to attack these. If they're just a little bit moist, and it's going to be trouble. No, I mean, if you're KP, first serves are the name of the game. He knows that. Yep. We can see it as well. Yep. That's a really good ball. Very good. That, that, the serve plus one. Mm -hmm. That's O'Shaughnessy stuff right there. Absolutely. And even if... Even if it's just to a tiebreaker, to three all with Goldis, the confidence you get from seeing your game can play at this level. Yeah, that's that's a win. Get him, get him to a breaker, a little wide. I'm just gonna double check the mark. That one did look just a hair wide. It did. Third and 15 now for KP, two points away from forcing a breaker, and again in the fast four format here. We're playing no ad scoring, uh, excuse me, we're playing ad scoring. That's a difference between the normal fast four. We're also playing standard tiebreakers at three all up to seven, win by two. And this could be called the NAR fast four. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. oh, what a sweet That pitch was an KP. awesome backhand. Good wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get amped. You don't get to play Ernest Golbus every day. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That's awesome stuff. That's big stuff. Just a 
pick up that forehand pretty much on the rise, go down the line there. That's why they call it the fear hand. Sheesh. Yeah, those are big time shots. Man, that's super, super special. The cool, cool thing is we're really close to it. We, we can see it, feel it. Oh. You need to be out here to, to see it and feel it and watch the pace and Man. watch the speed of these guys. Absolutely. I'm glad you used that term, feel it. You can absolutely feel the pace just sitting this close to the action. And, of course, it is sunny outside, nice yet raining. <laughs> That's where we're at here. As we head to a second set tie break, Golbus, KP, Again, I think we're about six rain delays in. Yeah, it's raining a little bit. The sun's out. Yeah, it's... I thought Michigan was weird. <laughs> I thought this only happened in our state. Yeah, welcome, welcome to Berks County. Yeah, it's... I feel at home. <laughs> so a tiebreaker to decide. Again, up, up to seven. Win by two. Rally. That was sweet. That might be our best point of the match. Yeah, that was a sweet rally. Great hands from both guys responded to those slices. And again, that's one of those things. A slice on TV, it looks so attackable. That ball stayed so low so on the low. court. So low, yeah. Gulbis is 6'3". He's got to get down for those things. Yeah, KP did everything he could to make that uncomfortable for Gulbis. No doubt about that at all. Two here for KP, who again has done much better attacking that first ball. Right off the line on that return. Sweet. It's good tennis. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's challenger ATP level stuff. That's why we're playing these matches today. Get these guys ready for the home stretch of 2021. I believe three of our players heading directly from here to New York. Ernest, from Kumar, of course, Chris Eubanks. On first name basis now with all of them, I can't tell there. <laughs> Ram Kumar Ramanathan, Chris Eubanks, Ernest Golbus, you know, Makun Sasakumar headed to Winston Salem. Oh, wow. KP gets two holds to start here, still on serve in the breaker. And again, fast four format followed by a third set super breaker. So this would be tie break number one afterwards. Get into that third set breaker up to 10, win by two. Sun now out. All of a sudden, got a hot. It is getting last 10 minutes. A little sticky out here. Balls are going to be moving a little faster. One would think that might favor Golbus. Absolutely. It's a nice second serve. Big second yeah, serve. Yeah, that's the word huevos comes to mind. <laughs> ballsy, ballsy play there. So now, two all, money ball here. Let's see what Copa says.
Checking out the sun. The sun all of a sudden came out. That's no fun. Didn't bother him. Good first serve there really by Gulbis. Nice serving from Ernest Gulbis, who, again, it, it's a different performance today versus yesterday. Yep. And as Ernest told me, he felt a little uncomfortable in the double serving, but today he's got it. He's found it. No doubt about that here. We've got a banana request. <laughs> Very rarely do you have that. Oh, so we, we have one. We had it happen in a college tennis match once. I literally watched a coach go, get this man a banana. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> it's like, it was incredible. A banana request. Yeah. <laughs> I understand a beer request. I've never had a banana request. No, it's only when that's an innuendo. That's a tough miss, though. That's yeah. the plus one ball. You just can't give that one. Right. Mini break for Gulbis, and, and that was kind of a rally ball that KP should have made. No doubt about that. And is that the opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to switch sides. KP is going to be thinking about that, and uh, hopefully it doesn't affect the next point. If you can, you got to let those things go. Sometimes it's pretty tough. I'm hoping the banana was for the chair umpire. And he's like, sorry, that's just, I'm, I'm famished. No, look at KP. I think he just downed it. That's <laughs> impressive, man. He just slugged down the banana. Oh, to be a pro athlete. Certainly, certainly exciting. But again, first mini break goes the way of Ernest Golbis. Tiebreaker to seven, win by two. He's got some time. But you don't want to drop another point on serve here. Uh, no, KP looking for a first serve here, definitely. No doubt. If he doesn't, trouble. Deep. Now watch Gobus try to move in and attack this little. Oh, he's moving way in. Oh, he's backed up a little. Still right on the baseline. Watch him attack this. He backed up on that return. He read it. He read it, Keith. He read that one. Oh, tweener. Oh, oh. No, no. oh. A little bit of a brain fart up there. Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> wow. Fun. That's really, really good stuff, though. Great wheels from him to track down that drop shot. Yes. Guides that. I actually thought that was a brilliant approach as well, just to get the depth yeah. on that backhand. I think it was brilliant, except for that. What no, you call it? yeah, the brain fart, the overhead, <laughs> the sky hook, the drop overhead. Yeah, it's. Here's what I'll say: when you and I could have hit that shot, you know it's not a good one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but of course, the smile on his face, which in the end is all that matters. He's an entertainer. He's having a good time out here playing golf. Oh, and he's got yeah. Akun Sasakumar next. So again, this is not an elimination match. Can play with a little bit more freedom here for KP. He'll need to now down a double mini break five two. <laughs> Great return. Really good stick. And just to compete in that fashion. That's what we're looking for here. Right. Yeah. Watch for the slice wide. <laughs> little boot there from Golbus of the ball but that was just flat power into that forehand oh, yeah. that's just overwhelming yeah. not much you can do there Golbus kind of feeling it right now no absolutely so he now leads six to three he'll have three match points two of them of course can come on JP serve let's see what he's got that's one. He's going for it. It's worth noting. 
hasn't brought up yet KP are two national championship winning teams at Columbus State clinched one of those championships as well ran around the inside I love it <laughs> ran around the forehand hit the love the inside in <laughs> backhand there two match points fought off by KP let's see if they got a third in him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unconfirmed sourcing here, but they say KP's got the heart of a lion. Unconfirmed. <laughs> Might have been said by him. That's what the word on the street is. That's right. Fought off two match points. Got the third coming up here with Gilda Servant. Again, he clinched a national championship match. That is nerve-wracking tennis. This is an XO. We're going to see some freedom here. That was huge. Ernest Goldis. <laughs> that was huge. 4-1, four, 4-3 four, victory. Took a little longer because we had a couple of rain delays. Nevertheless, able to focus over the finish line. Able to earn the victory. And he now moves to 2-0. and Secures himself a spot in the... I think he secures him. Well, I guess there can still be some 2-1 and one scenarios. So we're not quite ready to get there. But he is 2-0 and o through his first two matches. Looking awfully comfortable here now on court but of course again super super looking forward <laughs> as kp hits a ball over to his fans very much looking forward <laughs> to the rest of our action here three matches down seven still to go coming up next kp gonna play once again in what will be an elimination match for him as he takes on makun sasakumar three and oh yesterday your doubles champion so overall again should be some super, super exciting tennis the rest of the way. Hopefully the rain holds out for another hour, two hours or so. We are planning to play outside for as long as possible. We have indoor contingencies ready, so do not be surprised for that pivot later in the day. But for now, I want to go to you, Hutch, before we wrap this broadcast. Any final thoughts, final impressions from this Golbis Panu battle? Yeah, I, I was glad the KP uh, really uh, participated and competed well in the second set. And he found some nice slices, uh, dicing, slicing, and everything else that he could mm -hmm. do to, to, to mess up Golbus. It worked as well as it could. And uh, you know, Golbus at the end came up with some uh, bombs on serves and some great shots and uh, just kind of polished them off like he should. No, absolutely. I think the difference between this match and Golbus' first match, with all due respect to Chad Kissel, he could just never find his rhythm. Never found something that could disrupt anything, the power that Golbus was throwing at him. Credit to KP today. He was able to do that. He did. You know, those, those slices, those slices that stayed so low on mm -hmm. Gilbus is 6'3". Yeah. For, for Gilbus, he, he could not top spin the slice. That didn't work, so he had to get down and slice back. And that kind of threw him off his rhythm for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a little bit, though, little of course. Bit. That and the rain, but ultimately, Ernest Gilbus, again, 2-0 now, 4-1, 4-3 victory over KP Panu. That will do it for our third match of the day. Again, coming up next, KP taking on Makun Sasakumar. Hutch and I will be back with that broadcast in about 10, 15 minutes. But for now, for the wonderful Hutch, for our fantastic super producers, Westoff, uh, our super producer, Daniel Westoff, I am Alex Gruskin. You are watching the 2021 Lotto Elite Pro Tennis Challenge. <laughs>